Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> what are you doing, Sherry T? What is he doing? Alright, he's gonna back in. He's gonna back in, and I gotta go. Oh boy. You're gonna start cutting it pretty tight. So he's got it. <laughs> got two coils sitting in the center. That's that tarp load there, that's all the coils. Strapping, strapping tarp pretty good. <clears throat> Come on, I gotta get out of here, bro. Come on, CRST. CRST parking a flatbed. <clears throat> We're going to get out of here <clears throat> and continue heading for the East Coast. After getting my drive tire fixed. Hope you guys enjoyed the tar situation. I know I didn't like it, but even a blowout uh, can be considered content on the channel. Just showing you guys that every day 
trucking life. What it's like out here. And I discovered it there at the J right in front of you. So I discovered the flat tower and I got fuel. Gonna step behind us and follow me. <clears throat> I hate those early morning rides when the sun comes up and all of your face is like, ugh. Hope you guys are taking care of yourselves. <laughs> we got six hours and forty seven minutes. We got a long way to go across Nebraska. Next day, Iowa. Then, of course, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, and on over. Chicken house is closed, locked up, nobody home. Bye. Those, the video I did about the VOL, you know, that's a law that's there. And I want you guys to basically obey what the law says. I'm not a team driver. But I'll let you guys know real quick. How things are done out here. So you guys don't get in trouble. Especially you new guys. You know, just coming out of school. Or you've been out here very long. The way I'm learning. What it is. Well, I got tired of seeing these kids who were not learning anything. They're on a big truck, they're with a trainer, the trainer cares nothing about them, or cares about the future, and they decide that they're just going to use her for a second paycheck. Which is what a lot of trainers do. All the dirt bags out here. And I went, no. But because I'm a solo driver, I don't do teams, I don't do none of that garbage. I want to teach my students the right way of learning. So I decided to come on here and do it. The last time I seen we were at 363. Thank you to everybody for joining. I appreciate you guys. 
This is the reason why I decided to do this. So to teach the younger ones. The ones who are either on their trainer's trucks right now. Because we're it's Saturday, so the trainer, depending how orientation went, the trainer picked them up yesterday or Thursday. They're on, the train, they're on the trainer trucks right now. Most of you guys are going to be on the trucks with the trainer between six to eight weeks. I'm talking Stevens, KLM, Swift, FFV, uh, with Covenant. I'm not sure if our Covenant has a training program. Uh, Covenant Prime. Um, Oh God, Milton Transport, or Melton Transport. I don't know why I said Milton Port. Melton, uh, Fry Miller, WFX, Western Flower Express, and all the other beginner companies. Warner, uh, Schneider, and the rest of them. I don't night up there at the very right beginning of the right front of the pack. But, you know, I don't despise these companies. I am just not going to put my life in someone else's hands when it comes to me being out here on the road. I'm just not going to do it. No way. Ain't happening. Not happening. So instead, I am going to, and did, decide, you know what, if I can reach a student, his trainer is not uh, teaching him, then I'm going to teach him. And I'm going to teach him the right way how to do something. And that's why I decided come on here and do it. My thing about it is that I hope you guys are learning. I do. I hope you guys are learning. I'm not going to misinform you. I'm not going to do it. That's one thing I won't do. I won't misinform anybody. I won't misinform a student whose trainer is not uh, teaching them correctly. You want and need more training, and I'm gonna give it to you. Big truck cut up beside me. I want to talk. As you can see, I'm keeping my distance to the guy in front of me. That's one thing you don't want to do. You don't want to come up behind somebody and get right on their ass, and you're trying to go around them. That's just a no no. Where that reefer is compared to night, he's way too close. Look at him, he's seen a gang on him. That's an idiot that didn't know any better. Most of them don't know any better, and really, they don't want to learn. Too proud. Had two of them in that truck, I guess, the trainer and trainer and trainee. Knight, owner of Swift in Phoenix, Arizona, US Express, among all the among other companies. But everything that I'm telling you guys, I can back up by 
DOT regulations. Now, I'm not going to sit and say that I know the regulations inside and out. The answer is no, I do not. But the ones that I specify on, the ones that get you in the most trouble, yes, I do know those regulations. Old Dominion, that is a non-trainer company. Melton Flatbed, that is a trainer ground company. You need six months flatbed training or flatbed experience in order to get on with them. Then you will go out with a trainer in order to teach you their way of doing things. Brian will take you right out of school and they'll teach you their way of doing things, no problem. Then they will try to automatically and immediately, maybe different, but when I was with them, they try to immediately push a lease on you guys. From my understanding, now there is a direct lease on Prime. There is no more company drivers. That's not happening. Uh-uh. No way. They do not do company no more. It's just a strict and straight up lease company. Truck along with Carsey, uh, Slime Pack, and there's a couple of other female prime drivers that I listen to, and they all say the same thing. Iowa tonight. There's 455 miles across the 80. We got six hours on my clock. We can go 360 miles if I were to run it all the way out down to the last minute. And we got 200 and Two hundred and sixty-three miles to the four fifty-five. No, two hundred and five. Yeah, two sixty-three. That's right. So the eight miles to the two hundred. Then there's two hundred fifty-five. Yeah. Once I hit, uh, once I got past the 192, yeah, I did uh, 263, which is about left. So four hours and uh, eight minutes. Now, four hours and 23 minutes. place I wouldn't mind staying at is in Grand Isle. That place is nice. Grand Isle is absolutely beautiful. It is. Of course, Iowa is like 300 something. You're always going to have your favorite truck stop you like going to. Grand Isle, Walk High, jeez. Uh, the TA Walk High, the TA uh, Grand Isle, Nebraska. You got the Iowa 80 over there by the border, in Illinois. You've got, there's a crap one of them. A 
favorite church stop you will have across the country. Guy has got orange light on his brakes are going the other direction. That could be a number of things. He's got a problem and he's not paying attention to it. Uh, that could be box temperature out of range. That could be a whole slew of problems and he's not paying attention to it. Unless he's already checked it and he knows what it is and he's waiting for the temperature to get right. You know, I've done that myself. I'm wrong with box temperature out of range with the orange light on and then I just keep going, 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 going. And then finally when my reefer hits the temp, like on a start stop mode or something, then uh, that green light will flip on at the bottom and I know my reefer's fine. I got the green light on mine. I hope you guys are paying attention to all the rules that I'm trying to teach you guys out here that I'm trying to refer over to you. And the only way I can show you the rules is by experience. The only way that, or by example, should I say. Uh, back in the dark, some people have said, you don't look out your passenger window. And you're right, I haven't been. And I'm in fault for that. I'm not going to sit here and say that I'm not. There have been several situations where I did not look out my passenger window when I should have done that. going about 58 miles an hour at least drivers they do that for fuel savings and maybe a late load I don't know he's kind of cruising a lot like you don't know what's going on jeez come on man hey stations way that I can teach you guys is by example. So I can teach you guys what not to do and how to keep your butt out of trouble and not get in trouble. You know what I mean? I to show you guys, hey, uh, don't do this. That was the whole point of the scale video. When I did the scaling and I showed you guys the three scale tickets, one for the shipper and two on a cat scale, I still have those cat scale tickets with me. I still have them. I did not get rid of them. down this low, our trace will go everything and send everything to the trip back, back, to, back to the company. I need to buy myself from uh, the antifreeze. Oh, look at that spread axe going the other way. Oh, that is beautiful. Gorgeous looking truck.
did not want to do was not scale that load across a way station and get in trouble knowing better. You know what I mean? Another good one to do. But that's my whole thing. But I've broken down a big truck up here. I see. I always jump to the other land if you got a chance. Do not go up beside him. You can have engine problems, you can have tire problems, whatever. The thing about uh, Grand Isle is that they about Grand Isle is they have uh, Little Caesar's Pizza, uh, a nice restaurant, lots of arcades. The place is huge. In fact, I may stop there to give you something to drink. And let you guys see Grand Isle. But and then you got the Bolsonaro flying chase and across the interstate from the boats from uh, the Grand Isle TA. I've had to hug her down and uh, stay at Grand Isle before. I've had to. During the winter months, I've had to. The roads were bad? Yeah. We're coming into winter, so that means I gotta buy chains. It starts snowing and icing, change will be enforced. Right now, not really. I know I'm Colorado, uh, change are enforced right now. Flat weights. Want to step back in front of us? Now you got to see him. Okay, we'll back off up here. Drives, I think I'm getting some mud flat weights. Go on. 
I can't go around him. In fact, I'm probably going to end up doing that. But I don't want him to think that I'm cramping him or uh, tailgating him. Now, the one thing I don't like being out here, and I think my students probably would do it like this, when a big truck jumps into the hammer light, but he can't even pass the truck he's trying to go around. Either they're the same speed, oh hell yeah, look at that. Straight pipes. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, he can't even pass the truck he's trying to get around. He's like, really? Are you serious? <laughs> That's, that's one baby that I would not want to touch. Uh, W9, a P, no. You don't want to hit no truck at all. None. Especially those old models. Oh, no. No way. is picking up a lot of meat loads and they're heading out west like towards California, Utah, all those areas. Then sometimes they'll pick up produce and they'll come back east with it. Nebraska, Iowa, Kansas, Summer, Colorado is known as the meat yards or the beef yards is what it's known as. We got produce on board and we've been defrosting like crazy. I've been watching my reefer unit. big puddles of water, which means we're losing weight inside the trailer. <sighs> hey, look everybody, selfie! I took that, that one thumbnail I have where I was uh, dropping that load of watermelons. I took that selfie behind that trailer. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Make sure you're stopped when you do that if you decide to do it. you guys to be safe out there and I hope you guys are learning something from what I'm saying on here. When I did that BOL video, some person, I don't know who they were, in the comments put uh, Captain Crunch. Okay, I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, 
and you can elaborate about what you are talking about, I'm going to bring you here. What did you mean when you said that? But anyway, guys, I'm going to let y'all go. We're going to shoot for Grand Isle, and we're going to stop there. Maybe get something to drink, maybe a quick snack, and we're going to get back on the road, and we're going to go. Anyway, y'all be good, and I'll see y'all later. This is Don't Off Script. I'm Jonathan, and we'll see you guys on the other side. Love y'all.